Hello, welcome to another video. You came back for more. In this video, I'll be working on this old worn out dressing table with mirror. It could also be known as a vanity table. Whatever it is, it needs a makeover itself. I picked up this piece from Marketplace for £20. It's always difficult to know for sure, but I would date this item at maybe 1930s, 1940s. It's an art deco piece, so it's definitely vintage. And it also had that vintage, musty smell. I began by removing all the hardware from the drawers. This is the middle drawer. It was really stuck. I had to use brute force to open it. I really disliked the handles. But I ended up being so impressed with how they turned out. So stay tuned for that little surprise. I found it easier to take the draw bottom out of this one due to the fact that it was really stained and it needed a good sand. I had big plans for the detailing on the draw. But when I sanded it lightly, I really liked the effect. The old varnish was left into the crevices, but it highlighted all that lovely detail. So I opted to leave it as it was. After I sanded a little bit of the surface, I realized it wasn't gonna sand very easily. I was also concerned about damaging the veneer on the tabletop, so I decided to use paint stripper on this occasion. As you can see there were a couple of chips out of the veneer already that will need to be sorted out. You'll see that later on in the video. After a couple of rounds of stripping I then used the white spirits to clean off the excess. I then began sanding the fronts which came off a lot more easily so that didn't need to be stripped on the front which I was very happy about because I was missing my sanding so these are the brackets that hold the mirror up in place which um, were very rusty so they needed to be taken off and cleaned. Looking better already. And yes, it's starting to rain again. So I gave the whole desk and drawers a coat of oxalic acid. Oxalic acid bleaches the wood so it removes all kinds of surface stains and things like that. While the oxalic acid does its job, it's time for a break with the Beach Boys, Charlie and Sully. Oh, 
then, Shirley. Go on in, in the water. Good boy. <laughs> That's enough now boys, let's get back to work. So I sanded all seven drawers, inside and out. I was really tempted to replace the handles because I didn't like them one little bit. But I wondered what they would look like if I changed the colour. So I gave them a black base and then I went over that with a copper colour, sort of rose gold. And I was amazed with the results. So I wanted to achieve a natural finish. So I went for a hard wax oil by Osmo. It's water resistant and extremely durable. Taking a mirror apart with a mischievous little puppy around is probably not a wise decision given that you could get seven years bad luck if things go wrong. But I couldn't believe how vain he was, he couldn't stop looking at himself in the mirror. The hardware on the mirror was also really rusty so I popped that into the rust remover and left it to sit for a while. I gave the back of the mirror a clean with some sugar soap. It's good preparation, it removes all dirt and grease and any nicotine stains. And this is one of my favourite products, Restore a Finish, and it's in Dark Oak. I was given this glass cream by an amazing car detailing company called Razzle Dazzle. They basically do to cars what I do to furniture. Here I'm just replacing the missing patch of veneer. Unfortunately I didn't have a piece that matched the colour of the original veneer. So I just had to do my best to blend it in.
So I used some of the leftover sawdust from the table and just glued and popped it on, blended it in as best I could. I used Restora Finish in Dark Oak for the sides and the back and then proceeded onto the table top which again was the Osmo. Then it was time to reassemble the mirror whilst wearing my dressing gown like a true professional. You might have noticed at the beginning of the video that a couple of the drawers were going in on themselves. That was due to the uh, stoppers being missing. So here I'm just measuring and cutting some new ones. I'd just like to say a quick thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more videos in the future. That would be much appreciated. I sanded the middle drawer and applied Howard's Feed and Wax. It now opens and closes perfectly. Thanks once again for watching and I hope you enjoy the final results.